Hi, my name is Diego and I'm from CypherCore, the makers of LoginTC. In this video, we will show you how to add LoginTC strong authentication to your Cisco ASA SSL VPN AnyConnect client and clientless logins by deploying a LoginTC radius connector virtual appliance and modifying your Cisco ASA with the Adaptive Security Device Manager or ASDM. I recommend to follow along this video with our online documentation. Please see the video description for a list of relevant links. Log in to the LoginTC admin panel online to get started with the installation process. Click domains and then click create for your first domain. Enter a relevant name and pick an icon for your domain. Your users will see the name and icon each time they authenticate. Click create to cr complete this step. You now have a domain ready to be used for LoginTC authentication. Now install and configure the LoginTC radius connector appliance in your virtualization infrastructure. Virtual appliance images are available in OVF slash OVA and VHD formats for both VMware ESXi and Hyper-V. You should first download the LoginTC radius connector virtual appliance image from the download section of our documentation website. See the video description for a list of relevant links. Log into your VMware ESXi console. Click create slash register VM. Select deploy a virtual machine from an OVF or OVA file. Click next, then click to add the relevant OVF files. Enter a name for the appliance and click next. Select your relevant storage and select your desired provisioning. Now that you've completed the new VM wizard, click Finish. To view the newly deployed virtual appliance, select the new instance and then open up the console. The LoginTC Radius Connector virtual appliance is now ready for configuration. Now configure your newly deployed LoginTC Radius Connector virtual appliance. Hit the escape key and pick a password for the LoginTC-user user. This password will be used when logging into the virtual appliance's web-based interface. Next, set up the network configuration. It is important to pick a static IP address so that DHCP does, don't affect functionality. Next, configure the DNS. You can select an external or internal DNS server. Finally, turn on the web server. Now that the web server is turned on, Open up a new tab in your browser and navigate to the URL indicated in the bottom right hand corner. Enter the same password you configured originally to log in. Now your login C radius connector virtual appliance is ready to be configured to accept authentication requests. Now add a new configuration to accept authentication requests from your Cisco ASA SSL VPN. Click create your first configuration. Retrieve your application ID and application API key from the LoginTC administration panel. If you have not created an application, click Applications. Type Cisco and then click Cisco ASA SSL VPN. Copy the application ID and paste it. Next, get the application API key by clicking Click to View. Copy the API key and paste it. Click Test and Next. Now configure first factor authentication. If you use a RADIUS server for first factor authentication, you can select RADIUS. For this video, first factor authentication will be configured using Active Directory instance. Enter the Active Directory host and port, then enter the distinguished name of a read access user of a user that has read access to the directory in the bind DN field. Enter the password as well. This account will be used by the radius connector to connect the active directory and validate the user's password. In the query details, enter the base DN where all your users reside. Fill out the username, name, and email attributes as well. Scroll down, click text, and then next. Pass-through is an optional feature where you can configure which users must be challenged with second factor. You can use a static list of usernames or Active Directory group memberships. This is useful for testing in a production environment or to control 
the two-factor authentication rollout to your user base. In this video, all users will be challenged. Finally, configure the Radius client. Enter the name of the client as it will appear in your configurations list. Enter the IP address where the authentication requests will originate from. Enter a secret that will be shared between your login to see Radius connector and the, v the Radius client. Pick challenge mode for a streamlined user experience. Scroll down, click test and save. Now the configuration is added and ready to be used. Now create a user and test your configuration. Go to the administration panel and from the domains tab, click your newly created domain. Scroll down and click create member. The username must match the username in your active directory or SAM account name. Then enter their full name, their email address and click create. Now issue a token so that the user can authenticate with login TC. An email with instructions on how to load a token is usually sent to users. For this video, the token will be issued without an email. Load the new token on your test device. Launch the Login TC app, click Add Token, and enter the activation code you see in the administration panel. Click Next and click Add. Now the user has a token for your Login TC domain and will be able to authenticate against any service you protect with Login TC. Click the user to confirm the token is loaded. Now click Test Token to open the Test Token modal. Click Send Notification. A simulated request will be sent to your device. Approve the request to confirm authentication is working. You can also perform a test from the Login TC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance. This test verifies that both first and second factor authentication configurations are accurate. This is a great way to confirm that the configuration is correct before modifying your Radius client. Click Test Configuration to open the Test Configuration modal. Enter the username and password and click Test Configuration. Approve the request this test confirms that both first and second factor authentication are configured properly. Now configure your Cisco ASA SSL VPN using the Adaptive Security Device Manager or ASDM. On the Login TC Radius connector under the Settings tab, you can see the configured IP address and Radius authentication and accounting ports. Launch the ASDM to begin Cisco ASA SSL VPN configuration. Click Configuration, then click Remote Access VPN. Under AAA slash Local Users, select AAA Server Group. Click Add in the top right. Enter the name of the AAA Server Group for Login TC. Make sure to set the max failed attempts to 1 and click OK. Now add a Radius Server to this group. Select the newly created group and click Add in the lower right hand side. Enter the IP address of the Login TC Radius Connector Virtual Appliance. Make sure the timeout is set to 70 seconds. Enter 1812 for the authentication port and 1813 for the accounting port. Enter the same shared secret used when configuring the Login TC Radius Connector. Make sure the chat v2 is disabled. Click OK. Click Apply to apply the changes. Now configure your connection profile to use this AAA server group. Under Client List, VPN Access, click Connection Profiles. Then select your desired connection profile, click Edit. Change the AAA server group to Login TC, click OK and Apply. If you do not use any Connect Client List authentication, then you can skip this step. Under Network Client Access, click AnyConnect Connection Profiles. Select your desired connection profile or use a new connection profile for testing purposes. Click Edit and select the AAA Server Group Login TC. Click OK and apply your changes. Now go to your AnyConnect Client Profile. If you do not already have a client profile, 
then create one. Pick a name and ensure that the group policy matches the group policy used by your desired connection profile. Now edit the profile. Make sure that Auto Reconnect is not selected. Go to Preferences Part 2, scroll down, and set the default authentication timeout to 80 seconds. Also configure the serverless entry if this is your first time configuring the client profile. Click OK and apply all the changes. Now select group policies and confirm that the AnyConnect client profile is the same one as the one used to configure login TC. Click OK and apply all the changes. Your Cisco ASA SSL VPN is now configured to use login TC. Now test Cisco ASA AnyConnect client authentication. Open the Cisco AnyConnect client and enter your username and password. Type 1 in the challenge window to receive a notification on your device. Tap Approve to complete the authentication request. Users can now access your Cisco ASA SSL VPN securely using login TC multi-factor authentication.